Hey guys, it's Michelle here, and I wanted to share with y'all another Christmas album that I just finished. Um, I used the Stamperia Romantic Collection All Around Christmas Paper Pad. I thought it was really cute. They have a lot of scenes inside the house that's decorated for Christmas with the little dog and a kitty cat. And let me show you. I've used about a pack and a half. And there you can see the scenes. Living room, kitchen, bathroom. They got some poinsettias that you can cut out. So this is my album. And it's a big doozy. Um, so I have a house on the front. And of course everything is covered with snow. Uh, not like it is here in Louisiana. I was just dreaming a little bit. And you can see inside the window I have one of the scenes from the paper collection. The little fireplace and the dog with the Christmas tree. And then on the bottom, excuse me, I need to move something so I can get to this. I added a little decoration for Christmas. Got a little hat. Some flowers, bells, uh, pine cones, tree limbs, just a little bit of everything. And then the snow snowflakes around the outside. And then what I did was, underneath here, I added little lights inside the house. I'm sorry, one of my, light, one of my uh, lights is giving it a glare. If you could see, I added little lights inside the house. Anyway, I thought it was really cute. I actually saw, I didn't come up with the idea on the cover by myself. I actually saw it on Instagram. Um, I'll put it in the description, but she has some really pretty stuff. It's scraps underscore Anuta, A-N-U-T-A. And that's where I got the idea of putting all this down on the bottom. I keep wanting to say a wreath, but I know it's not a wreath. And then we have the outside and then the back. All right, let's see if I can keep all this in frame. For it's gonna be a really chunky, chunky album because there's a lot of decorations and so forth inside. Let's see if I can get in closer so y'all can see this a little better. We'll try and do one page at a time. So here I have one of the cutouts from uh, the paper collection. And then I added the poinsettia and some other flowers, little pine cones and decorations. And I used a lot of ties on this one because little bow ties because I figured it went with the Christmas theme. And then this whole thing flips out. And then on the top here, I just have a little snowflake charm that goes up. Oh, and I did get... Um, they're chipboard pieces that go with the collection, but they're clear. So I have a one that popped up on this side. And then you can put photo frames in here, and this just spins back around and holds it down. And that's some of the, um, from that clear cutouts that came with the collection. Alright, on this side, I have a spray here. Um, I got a lot, <coughs> excuse me, I got a lot of these flowers and stuff from Hobby Lobby. Poinsettia, little Christmas greetings, and then I found some um, old stickers that I had in my stash. And this one was a um, stocking with presents. We got a little present here. I don't know if y'all could see. They got some little bells inside there. And then this is, this flap is a pouch. So I have a couple of tags. Place for photos there. And then this one opens up. I thought this was so cute with the little pictures of the dog and the cat. Alright. On my next page on this side, I have more decorations down at the bottom. 
see if I can lift this so you could see. Little sled, little hat, scarf, flowers, and then more flowers on this side here. And it's a twinkle, twinkle little star, little baby. So I have one flap here. And then this is one of the uh, pieces from the collection. You can tuck a photo behind here, photos here. All right, on this side, I have some little flowers, pine cones. And what I made here is a fabric envelope. So this is another piece that's from the collection, the clear chipboard pieces and it opens up and then I have the fabric inside. Merry Christmas to you. So you could tuck whatever you would like down there. And then here, I don't know if y'all can tell from the dimensions on the back of the um, paper collection, they had a lot of little cutouts. They go with the theme of the other paper. So I just cut them out popped them up on some um, adhesive foam and made them lift up a little bit. I just don't know if that's coming through on the camera. All right, then our next page is one of my favorites. It is um, from the, the front door and I found these little wreaths at Hobby Lobby. And then this here, the background of it is fussy cut out from the paper collection. And then I added poinsettias and some little bells. I got Walmarts. Then this side here, I just did a fabric pocket. And then I have a little folder. And of course, all my pages, as you, if y'all can see it, are stitched. And then I just threw in a lot of the extra um, cutouts that I had. There's a little tag. I didn't quite know what everybody, which side they would want to use. So I did not put any um, white backing or anything on all of them. I just put them down inside there. And then on the top here, we have another one, the wreaths that came in the pack with uh, the same one like the door. Another sticker, the stocking with presents. And then the same thing on this side with the little bells and a couple of chipboard pieces. Let's see if I can back out a smidge. And then this side here. It was a, a piece that I found at Hobby Lobby, and then I just added the poinsettias and these holly pieces to it. And then for this page, I have a magnet, and it just holds down, and these two flip up, and we could tuck a picture behind one of the little chipboard pieces. And that one goes down. You can tuck something behind here and then the magnetic uh, close it. And on the back, I got a little silly. I had these little stickers. I'm really not sure. I found them in my stash, the owl. And over here is a little squirrel. So I since, since uh, I had a house here, I added this little fence part, and I'm not sure if y'all can tell, I glue, I put some glue and um, styrofoam, one of the styrofoam balls, I grated with a cheese grater and glued it to the little fence to make it look like the snow was on it. And then this here I cut out from the paper and just put it up on some foam squares to make it pop up a little bit. So that is my Christmas album, and I really hope that y'all liked it. If y'all have any questions or comments, just uh, leave them below. I'll talk to y'all guys soon. Bye.